Hey, this is Presh Walker. Let's say you have all of these fractions and you need to convert them into their decimal representation. How do you do it? It's going to be a challenging task, but there's a trick that will make it much easier. So let's start out with something easy. Let's calculate the decimal representation for one over three. You probably learned this in school and remember that it's equal to 0.3 repeating. But how do schools teach it for the very first time? How do you figure out this decimal representation? So this is the way I learned it, and I think many people still learn it this way. You start out with the numerator, the number one, then you draw this line, and you want to divide it by three. So we put three on this side. Now how many times does three go into one? 3 is larger than 1, so it goes into 1 zero times. So from there, we need to add a decimal point, which we will put also in the answer. We then put a 0. So we now ask, how many times does 3 go into 10? 3 times 3 is equal to 9, so we put a 3 here, 3 times 3 is 9. We subtract the 9, 10 minus 9 is equal to 1. We now need to add a 0, which we carry down. So now we have 10 once again. 3 goes into 10 3 times. 3 times 3 is 9. Subtracting 9 from 10, we get 1. And we can see the pattern is going to continue. Each time we're going to get 3. So we have 0.33 repeating. And that's how 1 over 3 is equal to 0.3 repeating. But is there an easier way to do this? So here's a trick I think that is pretty cool. We all know that 1 is equal to 0.9 repeating. So if we divide both sides by 3, we get 1 over 3 is equal to 0.9 repeating divided by 3. So let's do this calculation. 0.9 divided by 3 is equal to 0.3. We then shift 1 over. Then 9 divided by 3 is equal to 3. We shift 1 over. 9 divided by 3 is equal to 3, and we see that this pattern is going to go on forever. So 1 divided by 3 is equal to 0.3 repeating. Let's see how this trick can help to solve other problems. Let's do 1 over 11. Now 1 is equal to 0.9 repeating, and we remember that 11 times 9, or 11 times 09, is equal to 99. So we can represent 0.9 repeating as 0.99 repeating, then 99 divided by 11 is equal to 09. So this will be equal to 0.09 repeating. And that's it. 1 over 11 is equal to 0.09 repeating. Let's solve another problem. What is 5 over 11? Well, 5 over 11 is equal to 5 times 1 over 11. We just figured out that 1 over 11 is equal to 0.09 repeating. Now 5 times 0.09 will be equal to 0.45, so we get that 5 over 11 is equal to 0.45 repeating. Amazing! Now let's solve 1 divided by 33. 1 is equal to 0.9 repeating, 0.9 repeating is equal to 0.99 repeating, then 33 times 03 is equal to 99, so this is equal to 0.03 repeating. Next problem. What is 1 divided by 101? We'll immediately think about our strategy. 101 times 99 is equal to 9,999. So we will represent 1 by 0.9999 repeating. We can then do the division that this is equal to 0 0.0099 repeating. Notice we need 4 digits because we have 9,999 is four digits. So one divided by 101 is equal to 0 0.0099 repeating. Next question. What is one divided by 271? We again use a strategy. 271 times 369 is equal to 99,999. So we will have a numerator with five decimal places that are repeating. We need to include two leading zeros here. So this is equal to 0 
repeating. These five digits repeat forever. Now, what if you had to solve one over six? You can't directly get an easy multiplication like we've been doing, but this strategy might still help. One is equal to 0.9 repeating. So let's set up our problem the old fashioned way, but imagine here we have an infinite number of nines in the decimal representation. So when we do the long division the old way, well, six goes into zero, zero times. Now, how many times does six go into nine? It goes into it one time, so we have 0.1. We have nine minus six is equal to three. Now we carry down a nine. So how many times does six go into 39? That would be six times, and then six times six is equal to 36. We do this subtraction and we get a three. We carry down the nine and we'll get 39 again. So we're going to see the next digit is going to be six and the same pattern will repeat forever. So we have that one divided by six is equal to 0.166 repeating or it's equal to 0.16 repeating. Now let's say we need to solve one over seven. Of course, everyone knows that seven times 142857 is equal to 999999. So now we have a decimal representation that will be six digits that are repeating. So one over seven will be equal to 142857 and all six of these digits repeat. Final example, what is one over 17? Well, if you work it out, 17 times this number is equal to a number that has only nines. If you count the number of digits carefully, you'll see we'll need a leading zero here. And one over 17 is equal to the following decimal representation. Now, let me end the video with a little bit of justification for why 0.9 repeating is equal to one. Because no math video is complete without some rigorous formal notation that very few people understand and find interesting. So here we go. 0.9 repeating is defined as the limit as n goes to infinity of a decimal, which is 0.999, we have n different spaces of nine. This is the definition. Now we can also write it in the following way. We have a sum of nine over 10 plus nine over 100 plus so on to nine over 10 to the power of n. We take the limit as n goes to infinity of this geometric sum. Now you'll notice this sum is one over 10 to the n less than one. So this is equal to the limit as n goes to infinity of one minus one over 10 to the power of n. We can write this as one minus the limit as n goes to infinity of one over 10 to the power of n. This limit will go to zero. So this is equal to one minus zero and this is equal to one. Therefore, 0.9 repeating is equal to one. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.